I'm set i I'm M set Y. M set M set Y. Happy Happy I'm set I'm set I'm set I'm set I'm happy. I'm set I'm happy. I'm set I'm happy. I'm set I'm happy. I'm do I'm set do I'm set 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 i Okay, I give up. I see why you're always giving nicknames to things now. Oh yeah, it's not that I don't like the cool layers and occult themes that are in the cards, or that I don't notice because I do. I'm just not a wordologist. And also, saying things wrong makes for good jokes for the show. <laughs> Do we always have to be recording? <laughs> yes, Eugene. Absolutely yes. Okay. <laughs> Guess what? What? MST does negate! Ha! The new Stonewall card, anyways. <laughs> People underestimate Mystical Space Typhoon. <laughs> yeah. But then the big boys come out to play. They're really good. 3,000 attack is no joke. I mean, that's a blue eyes. And I love how they look like classic Yu-Gi-Oh too with the whole Egyptian theme going on. Speaking of classic Yu-Gi-Oh, Burfermetch is OP and I want one. Its name is even treated like the original. What more can you want? It's great. And it's technically a super poly target even though it's limited because it forces the whole illusionist type thing. I illusionists are just spellcasters, but cooked again. Why? You've made that joke already. I also keep making the off the chain joke, but I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Off the, the chain. Yeah. What's off the chain is the Diabell Star engine. <laughs> yeah, it is. Diabell Star the Dark Witch. More like Diabell Star the Hot God Bitch. Ow! Them hits though. Big titty got girlfriend material for sure. I like that it supports fire decks too because they low key need support. I mean, Rescue Ace comes to mind first because they're really, really good right now, but also some old friends like Infernoids come to mind. Oldies but goodies, you know? <laughs> Decadron from Deck, huh? <laughs> good one. <laughs> with, with that one for one. <laughs> Puns. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, TGs could play the engine too. TGs have a level one fire? They do now. Have you seen the TCG exclusives? Yeah, they're pretty good. But Jin looks like he's taking a shit. I wish he was fire attribute for the Taco Bell meme. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep the fire jokes coming, shall we? I know it doesn't come out in Age of Overlord, but Wing Karibo level six has got to be the most adorable yet cool Yu-Gi-Oh monster I've ever seen. Wearing flame wingman like he's a little Necroz monster. I never get tired of GX era cards and supports. Even Goat Format falls under GX era if you think about it. <laughs> Me neither, man. I was happy to help out Pain96 in any way that I could. And eventually he was successful. Yeah, we did it all right. <laughs> but it, what cost? Manadi, Manadi, Manad, Man, Manadium, Manadium, Trisutka, Tris, Trisutka, Tris, Trisutka. It gives the deck that no one's ever heard of or can pronounce even more supports what I'm trying to say. And it's generic! There's tons of generic stuff in Age of Overlord. I dig it, but I also dig generic cards. SP Little Knight's gonna be a staple. <laughs> and also a waifu card. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. My wallet hurts. God help us, the link arrows are great in everything. And banishing cards is always good. Unless you run into that one guy still trying to make Grin Maju work. It's probably just one guy, though. Like, yeah, on the whole planet, it's probably, it's probably just one guy. Pot of Desires really should be a three. Yeah, it should be. Although, Ryan did tell me that it might not be a three because of a synchro monster called Chinging, Chinging, Changing, Ching, Ching. See, I'm still doing it. So, <laughs> like, it wouldn't even matter that much. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to sound like you. It means you're getting smarter. Not me waiting for Yu-Gi-Oh to collapse under its own weight. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh is dead. <laughs> Insert the SpongeBob meme. No just bloated. Dead and bloated. 
<laughs> super heavy even, like samurais. They gave us super heavy samurai supports and then took it away basically the next day. Yeah. I see why Komani gets made fun of so much. Yeah, it's a shame too. Till absolutely loves that deck. Those and Ancient Gears are his all-time favorites. <laughs> You guys in machines. <laughs> you in Labyrinth, bro! With Arias, the deck just got even better. It's going to be the trap deck to play of the format over a deck literally named Trap Tricks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my housemate bitches. <laughs> you know, if you think about it though, structure deck decks have been making a comeback lately. Challenge? Monarch? <laughs> you mean brought back too late and brick city? So you admit that you play a bad deck. I never said that monarchs weren't a brick. Matter of fact, in one video, I loved on a brick wall. <laughs> and you say that I'm extreme. <laughs> wow. What's extreme? A superstar slayer type on sky. Superstar slayer type. Superstar Slayer, Typhon Sky, Crisis, Doomsday, Star... <laughs> Whatever. It's not epic enough that he's a Star Slayer. No, 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 no. It's gotta be even more extreme. He's gotta be a Super Star Slayer. <laughs> extreme Force equals extreme victory. <laughs> nice one. And it's not that I don't see the Greek mythology references or that I don't notice stuff in cards because I do. And I actually sneak stuff into the channel all the time. Saturn, Scythe, Yu-Gi-Oh, Jesus, yada, 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 yada. But this card's name is way over the top. It's like Hope, Harbinger, blah, blah, Titanic, something galaxy, just all over again, man. What's up? Oh, nothing. I was just using you to make a point again. That's why I'm here. You don't do a single thing unless you're prompted, and I'm gonna keep driving that fact home until it's not funny anymore. Or until I can't milk you for various references or other jokes, like basically anything that the internet lets people think that they know. Yeah, just, yeah. It's already not funny anymore. I'm tired of having a roommate. You make me share my food with a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Well, that's too damn bad. You keep digging. Well, excuse me, Grandpa. <laughs> well, let's talk about what decks are gonna be good then. Um, all the usual suspects are already in place. Uh, earlier we were talking about Labyrinth. You mean birds? <sighs> yes, birds, Labyrinth, off the chain. Tier limits, etc. And the new stuff that's gonna be good is Horus, the Diabell Star engine. Ow! So Rescue Ace is gonna get even better. Speaking of machine decks that no one likes, Genex? Seriously, Genex? They're getting support? I know it's not an Age of Overlord, but still, the new Link monster that got announced seems really good. Ugh, lest we forget Mermail Undying. You know, I think we might have another generic engine on our hands in the future. Doesn't Rank 10 hate Genex? Can I go now? <laughs> yeah, man, you don't need to ask. Well, I guess you do. We'll work on that. You really gotta keep driving jokes home, don't you? I do love baseball. Is she way still a dick? Subscribe!